Hey Rhythm Guitar Rockers, this is Mark Turco at RhythmGuitarLessons.net and today we're going to talk about pinch harmonics. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create pinch harmonics with an electric guitar. If you've heard them before and don't know how to make that sound, this video is going to help you. First, I'm going to explain to you what a pinch harmonic is and demonstrate how they sound. You may have heard them before, but didn't know they had a special name or a specific technique in order to achieve it. Then I'm going to show you a tap harmonic. Now this is not a pinch harmonic, but understanding this technique is going to better give you an idea of what happens when a pinch harmonic is executed. Then I'm going to show you the actual technique on how to do it. It's an easy concept, but it's a little tricky. Initially, to do it, it may be difficult, but with a little practice, you're going to do just fine. Then next, I'm going to show you how to incorporate it into your rhythm guitar playing. Pinch harmonics are great to use in riffs or in between chords. So what is a pinch harmonic? Well, a pinch harmonic is this. But before we get into that, I'm going to show you how to do a tap harmonic. So the only thing that I'm doing with my left hand is just muting the strings that I'm not playing. So I have my middle finger going across four strings and my thumb is lightly touching the low E string and I'm just picking the A string. And all I do is lightly touch the string and then pull my finger away. If I were to pick the string and leave my finger there, it's gonna deaden the note. You hear a little bit of a harmonic but it dies out really quickly. So you have to lift your finger away. Lifting your finger away is very important. That is something that needs to be done when we execute the pinch harmonic correctly later in this video. Okay, so now let me show you if I were to tap my finger on different locations of the string, it's gonna sound different and create a different pitched harmonic. So what I'm going to do is I am going to play my string with my pick and then I'm going to immediately touch the side of my thumb. Now, when I talked to you earlier about tapping the harmonic and having to release your finger, now is when it's important to make sure that as soon as it comes off the point of the pick and it touches my skin, I have to pull my thumb away from the string, otherwise I'm gonna otherwise I'm gonna kill the note. So it would sound like this if I were to kill the note. That's not good. That's not what we want. What we want is this sound. So like I said before, it's a little bit tricky to get the hang of having it come off the point of the pick touch the side of your thumb and immediately pull away. Unlike the tapping technique, which is a two-step motion, we need this to be one continuous motion, almost as if it's happening at the same time. By adding some vibrato, it could really make the pinch harmonic sound more aggressive. Without it, with it, So by moving my hand at a different location on the string and picking the string in a different area, just like I showed you with the tap harmonics, we can change the pitch of the pinch harmonic. So one quick thing I do want to mention is that these pinch harmonics work best if you're using a lot of distortion. Medium amount of distortion or low distortion, you could still achieve getting those harmonics, but they're not going to jump right out as if you're using higher gain. You could also do it with 
acoustic guitars, but again, the volume of the pinch harmonic is going to be very low. So it's best to use a high gain, maximum distortion type setting in order to get the full effect of these pinch harmonics. <laughs> So here's a few tips and reminders. You want to make sure you move that thumb away from the string so you don't kill the sound of the harmonic. You want to mute any excess string noise and you also want to add vibrato. Let me know in the comments what other topics you'd like me to make videos on. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell so you know when I make another video. Always have fun with your guitar and I'll see you next time. If you like that video, you're going to love this brand new e-guide that's totally free. The link is in this video's description, or you can go to rhythmguitarlessons.net forward slash capital P, lowercase r, lowercase o.